Who's this? Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Good evening. Good evening. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your desire to serve. Uh, the process is typical. We're going to start with Mr. Hunter, come down the line, each way ask one question. Okay. And uh, that'll be it. All right. Very good. Mr. Hunter. Do you, do you support consolidation of schools? Uh, sir, I have been involved in the negotiations and mergers of schools uh, now for several years. Um, I think under the right condition, uh, school mergers certainly could be considered. I think one of the right conditions, though, is that Covington City have a voice. And I think that's one of the things that we moved toward and, and worked toward in our last uh, merger negotiations that we had with the county to ensure that Covington City Council, as well as Covington City taxpayers and the school system had a voice in that merger. And under those circumstances, I would think that's something that certainly could be considered. Why would you like to be reappointed to the city school board? Sure. Um, obviously, I've served now for several terms. You've been kind enough to allow me to do so. And I believe there's many things that we've accomplished, but I think there's many more things to accomplish. We're advancing into uh, changes within the um, state requirements of the profile of Virginia of a graduate and we're looking to try to meet those needs. We're also looking to maximize uh, all the education that we can for the students. And we have opportunities to grow their knowledge and have an opportunity to offer expanded options as we move toward block scheduling and some things along those lines. So uh, I think we have a real opportunity to impact the community. And we've done so and seen our school system grow and I'd like to be a part of that continuing. Could you give us your top three priorities for the school system if you would be reappointed? Sure. Um, one of our priority, or one of my priorities, is to continue to advance the education and to work towards certification or um, being fully certified within the school system and fully accredited. That's something that we've been able to accomplish and work toward each year. Also, to be able to maximize the funding of which has been given by city council as well as uh, federal and state funding to maximize, to prepare our students to be qualified uh, workforce as well as be a good citizen within the community. I think that's very important. And the other priority that we would have is to continue to have the involvement of the community and um, community and staff and being able to open up the meetings such that we have more support throughout our entire school system. So I think that we're working toward that and we've got an opportunity to continue. Great. Do you have relatives that work in the Covington school system? I think we know the answer. To yes, that. I do. Okay. Um, would you like me to? Yeah, go, we asked the same question of everybody. Sure. So. Yes, I do. Uh, but one of the things that I would tell you is that looking over the years of um, Covington City as a whole, there's been a lot of relatives that have worked for Covington City, both within the school system as well as um, within the city as a whole. You go back to the days of Tommy Robertson and Laura uh, Robertson. Uh, I can think of, let's see, Diane Garcia and Jimmy Garcia served together. We had Alan and Jane Tucker. We had um, Miss Wood, Jean Wood, and uh, Gail Wood serving. There's a long list of individuals that have served both the city in a variety of different capacities. And I think one thing that that shows is certainly the passion and the commitment amongst those families to try to um, increase and, and to better the city as a whole. And working together is something that we've been able to do. What do you expect from Covington City Council other than budgetary support? Well, I have to say that Covington City Council has been very supportive in their budget. I know that there's always constraints and things along those lines, but you certainly have supported education. Um, we'll continue to look for the support in education. You've done so well over the years, as well as um, as we continue to grow and meet the needs of our community students. Um, we'll look to continue just support in general, for that matter. Not always funding, but just support. I know many of you have attended our meetings and been a part of some of our community activities and, and been vital to that. So we appreciate that support very much. So. Oh, 
this is rather redundant, but some of these questions are. Sure. Uh, if you were appointed, what three-year goals or objectives would you have? Okay. For your goals or objectives, what we would look to do, um, obviously, from our standpoint, is to continue to grow the school system, but being able to maximize the funding that's given in that. So that's always a creative. Um, we have to be very creative in the way in which we look at that. Uh, in addition to that, I think that we continue to try to uh, grow and expand the services that we can offer to our students as far as education. Uh, and continue to do that as well. And um, thirdly, we would look to um, continue to have uh, involvement in the community so that we can better prepare our students to be good citizens as well as part of that workforce and continue to keep them here within, um, within our area for employment and good workforce for opportunities for growth for the community. We, uh, we have a considerable amount of school debt. Yes. And uh, we face budget constraints often. Are there any ways that, that you know of or you can think of that we could face and deal with some of those constraints in a productive way? In relationship to school debt, obviously, we have continued to work with the city in regards to um, trying to find ways to consolidate debts and to reduce some interest payments and things along those lines. I think also um, we look from the standpoint to try to utilize the fundings that we have in such a way that um, we can conserve what we have, but also be able to look for possibly grants and things along those lines that would assist us with some of those items. Okay, last lead. If we were to form a joint school system with Allegheny County, yes, sir. how would you envision the system's governing body look? Well, we explored a variety of different options, as you know, mm -hmm. over the time frame. But the, the one option that we looked at that we felt would be most effective is that if the school boards were made up of a 4-3 combination, uh, which the county would have four and the city would have three, that in doing so there would still need to be a super majority vote that would need to be taken on, on key matters or on matters in order, again, for Covington City, both the taxpayers, Covington City Council, as well as the students to be able to have a voice in that, um, in that merger situation. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you very Thank much you for your time. Appreciate it.